Hi everyone, it's Jay from Itoso Crafts. Thank you for joining me today. We're an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrators based in the UK. And if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, and the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current Stampin' Up! products that I use today. So today I am creating this gift card holder using the hashtag Elfie and it pops up like that. So I don't have any gift card at the moment, so I thought I'd use our business card. There we go. So this is for the Creating Kindness blog and video hop. Uh, so check the descriptions below for links to the products as well as the next video in the hop. So let's crack on. So for today, I've actually used the note card, which comes as a bundle with the envelope and there's 20 in there uh, and you can create simple cards up to elaborate cards as well but not too much height. I also pre-cut this uh, old olive card with a circle stitch die and I run that through the lace dynamic or lace 3D I guess the lace design embossing folder whilst the original one was run through the hammered metal 3d embossing folder i thought i'd just change it up a little bit but you can see the difference so you can use any embossing folders but these two are quite nice against it and the uh, shaded spruce uh, cardstock and gold gold foil paper these were just an off cut which is let's see i still need to cut my my other off cut that one is 11 16th of an inch by four and three quarters and i believe that's three and a half by whatever tall however tall that is so i pre cut those and what we'll do is i'll do the coloring first and then i'll show you how to create the mechanism i've kept the inside fairly simple as well right so i have colored another elf in the christmas socks but i will quickly color one with you and i'm gonna head and breathe that. Let's see if I can zoom in. Okay, so I'm using Old Olive, Cherry Cobbler, Daffodil Delight, and for the original one, I actually use Smoky Slate and Ivory as well. So it's just, you can see the difference in so I've kept that white. I quite like that it's the sentiment makes it pop with having that added smoky slate in there. Okay. Fireworks are going off. Let's have a look if we can do this quickly. So as always, I tend to use the small nib for coloring, but obviously use what you're comfortable with. And I am using the dark first and going along the shadow. So if I keep that, I know that it, that's in shot. Hmm. So I'm going to try and do the calling. Oh, maybe not that quick because I'm going over the lines. And then going over with is that the, light? the light cherry cobbler to fill it in and then blend in with the shadows. And then going over again with the dark. Ooh. Very loud tonight. 
Okay, and then I'll just follow that underneath. And then along here. So I'm just going to alternate. There we go. And then on the other side. And then we can add more shading where the smoke is late. But if you only have the combo, it would suffice. And then obviously try, you can change the orientation of the image. I'm just trying to keep it in one place, but make it comfortable for you. So if we do old olive, So again, with the dark or the shadows, and then blend in with the light. And then we can do Smoke is late. So again with the dark. And then the light. Ooh, that was a flying blender. Blend. Blends even. So unfortunately, unfortunately, these um, stamps don't have a coordinating die, so you can fussy cut it though, which is good. Okay, and I'll just do the light there. And then we'll go in with the ivory. And because the ivory is lighter, it just adds a warm tone and then it lifts some of the color as well. From the smoky slate. Okay. And then you can color the elf. And then coming back with the light, I'm just good light gray, smoky slate. I'm just going under for the shadows and the ears as well. Going back with the ivory and then just trying to blend that in a bit more. Okay, finally we have Daffodil Delight, which is the dark one, I'm just going to go under here. And then pour the bell. And then coming in with the light just to blend that out. Okay. Just adding just under to add a bit more color underneath. Oh, and don't forget, did I do the hands? I can't remember. I'll do the hands again. There we go. So just a quick coloring there. 
Oh, I added a bit more shadows on he on the hat as well with the light. I believe smoky slate because it's a darker color. It doesn't lift the col the ch cherry cobbler, but it adds shadows, a darker shade. You can go back with the the light cherry cobbler and then just blend it in if you want to. But I think that is fine. Oops, shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Alright, if that does happen, uh, you can just make sure there's something underneath and use your, what's it called? Color lifter. So the color lifter, um, it actually adds more uh, alcohol onto your project, but you are pushing that back or underneath your project. So just go over it a couple of times to lighten that color. So red is one of the strongest pigment out there. So it does leave a little bit of mark, but it just blends it out underneath. That's why I put the paper there. So it um, sinks it through. And then I'm just going to go over that with the ivory again, just to help that go back into color. I'm just going to leave that there before I make any more mistake. Um, and I'll just put all of the lids and go back out. There we go. All right. So I, I tend to leave the lids out until I finish with the blends. There we go. And then we can crack on with the popping elements inside. So the Creating Kindness, the theme is Fancy Fold. I thought I'll, I'll make something different and do... Um, I've been wanting to, to do something like this. So it's quite nice that it pops up as well. So I'm probably going to use this. I know I've colored that, but I'll use that. That one was with Granny Apple Green, Cherry Cobbler, Smoky Slate, Ivory, and Daffodil a little delight. But that's how I created this one. Okay. So we have. So I'm gonna cut my card. With a new Stampin' Up trimmer, which we are loving. And this is available now for summer. So this is actually the size of an A4. So I'm just going to cut that um, to, where's my notes? Seven inch. So I'm just going to go back to seven inch. Actually, I'll cut it there first. So two and three eighths of an inch. So two, one, two, three. And this is normal whisper white so I, you don't want the thick one because you want the paper to slightly bend so that one was two three eighths of an inch by seven inches so on a normal a4 card size if you do it with um yeah on the width size you you're you can get quite a, a few of these along and I'm thinking this might be one of my swaps for on stage. Uh, and you're left with that for the sentiment or other things. And I will be saving that bit of paper. Okay. So you can use the trimmer for scoring, but I do prefer using the Simply Scored. And on the long, long edge on top, score at one and a quarter, three and a half, and six and three eighths. One, two, three. Turn it, and then we are scoring at three quarters. Just to the first, uh, down, yeah, down to the first 
line and then one and five eighths so five eighths and then you turn it 180 so what 90 180 and then you will have you score down to the second one so for here so you have the first score line there and then down to the second so you have three quarters down to the second score line and the same again one and five eighths down to the second line okay that is done so if can you see i'll just move this line slightly there you go so you are left with one two three and then one two one two okay ah i forgot i need something for this let's have a look if i can cut it so back comes out the trimmer so I actually needed uh, three quarters of an inch. So what is that? Three quarters of an inch. I'll just do that in half. So that is two, four, six, eight, ten. So five eighths of an inch. And then that will be halfway. And I'll be using both of those. And what's great about this trimmer fingers crossed is it will lock in keep it in place and then that is it so that is two and two three eighths of an inch by five eighths of an inch so you can cut before you cut this along you can cut it at the a4 paper two three eighths of an inch and then cut the five eighths Five eighths, and then you should be left with seven inches. Okay, so we are cutting. Where is my scissors? There we go. So that one is. So on here, the first one. I don't actually know if this helps. I will, I will I was um, trying to design this and this seems to help me but you can probably om omit this bit but try it if not um, if it doesn't work uh, cut this bit so I'm gonna cut just to the left of the score line for this one and then on here just to the right just so it gives enough space for the pulling mechanism there you go and then cut this off if i can see and then that is gonna be cut off there you go and then for this side, I am cutting up to the first score line up and then notching it. And then do the same for the other side. And then notching it. And then you'll have how did I do this? Oh, and then for this one, for the other end, if I if I score it, you might be able to see. So that's the tiny score line. I'm gonna notch that in, and then notch that in as well. Notch, notch. Cut it at an angle. There you go, so you'll have something like that, hopefully. And then we are just gonna fold this towards up, so up, towards up, upwards. 
and then the other side so this is going to be the pulling me mechanism so i'm going to add glue to that the we're folding it up because it's going to go in that way so you don't want the line to be on top that way or the back because if that makes sense that makes sense to me so we're just going to add glue along there and along the bottom and then fold that in count to three fold that in count to three <laughs> or longer than three whatever whatever works as long as it's stuck in okay so i'm just i just fold it up back in and then for this one you're gonna fold in so I'm just gonna make sure that that's aligned to the top side I'm just gonna burnish it can't see Alright, so the two, I can pick it up, five eighths of an inch, I'm going to add. So one is going to be underneath, like so, and then put that in, and then one is going to be on top, so it encases it in. Okay, so... It's easier to actually unfold it first, add glue to here, and then add glue to this side. And then use the corners to align it straight. If not, you could always cut any excess that's overhanging I'm sure it wouldn't matter and then oops it's fine it will if you fold it in like that and then that should just slot in and then whilst it, that is up there oh no you don't need it in there we go that's why I'm getting confused. I was like, oh no, I need to put it in. That actually just goes up, straight up, yeah. And then you are adding glue onto the tabs on either side, not on the actual middle bar. So again, if you add glue onto there, and don't put the glue quite close to the bar the middle bar because otherwise if it does seep out that will stop your mechanism from working maybe leave like I don't know three three sixteenth of an inch or something so that is gonna be on top So, can you see? Yes. So that is just going to be on top there. And there we go. And then wait for that. To, and then hopefully when you pull that out, that goes up. Cool, right? So let's get cracking the card and decorate it. So no card. Let's fold it. And shit, we have that one. We're just gonna just gonna go there. Ooh, which one's nicer? Okay. 
and I'm just gonna do the front. And I'm just gonna cut that off in a second. So while that is doing, so you don't even need to cut this to size, you can just align it where you want it. But before I do that, I've got my gold glimmer. And that is just gonna go, actually I'll cut it now, there we go. So I know where the edge is. Oh, I'm gonna add something instead of the holiday hello. I'll see if this will work. I'm gonna add a ribbon. The what's it called? Woo. What's this? What's this? What's this? Merry Christmas ribbon. <laughs> Classic weave ribbon. And it's got the Merry Christmas on it and it in copper metallic so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap that in and then hopefully that will stick that's the plan anyway so I will need to cut this to size or cut it all right trim it if you want to I'm just gonna use my snip and then Tear it up, as in tear and tape, or terrible tape. Gonna add that at the back. Okay, how are we gonna do this? We'll do it this way. Okay, let's see. So I want it more to the, to the left, so then you can see it. Okay, I want Merry Christmas there. That is a bit long, isn't it? Isn't it? But I wanted the Merry Christmas to be seen towards the left, so then... Yeah, that looks cool. And then I'll just cut that. And tear it up. It is slightly like not transparent. Not so, like you can see through it because like if you you can see the difference in um, cardstock underneath. So just be careful. I didn't want to use tear and tape underneath at the front in case you can see it. So we'll see if it does because we've just got this ribbon. Yeah, you can't actually see it that much, but underneath there. So that might work as well, just adding tape underneath. But I've done it now, so that's fine. I'm just going to add glue for X, so to keep it intact. And it, that's got there and tape in there anyway. And then I'm just going to add that at the front. Hopefully it works. Yeah, that looks cool. And hopefully it'll stay. If you, if it, you do find it wiggle a bit, just add a bit of tear and tape again. Where are you going to put this? So I'm just going to add it there. 
because you know it'll get covered anyway. Right, before I add any more dimensions, I'm gonna put this mechanism at here, at here. <laughs> so, how did I do it? I cannot remember. <laughs> okay, so basically this is gonna go, can we see, yeah. You fold that in and you basically add glue there and then fit, lift it up. So that is going to stay in and then when that moves, that goes up. You can't really see because it's all white. But let's see how it goes, right? So I'm adding glue to the top, to the tab first. And then it's um, gauge it so it is in the center ish. One, two and a half, one, two and a half. There you go. That's central. And let's have a look. I think it's like three eighths of an inch mark. One, two, three. Yeah, around three eighths of an inch. And then if you just fold that in. Wait for it to dry, and then obviously it's just gonna keep it up. And then with this one, you just want glue because now you've covered the bar. You can add glue there and then onto the either side. Again, try not to have on the either side bit glue quite close to the movable bar, moving bar even, but have it okay and then just fold that down and then wish for the best. <laughs> that bar just helps it, um, obviously the middle bar helps it to move and then the bars under and over it just kind of like keeps it in place as well and my thinking is with the cutting of the sides it helps it along as well so it keeps it in that gully right let's see and when you lift it it goes up and you can just Use mini glue dot for there and a business card so you can use this for craft fairs, um, obviously gift card as well and then you can just do one should be enough in the middle so then you want them to take it out so either pop, prop it up and then place it down again in the middle you can decorate it do a bit more stamping if you want or just add a bar of PSP on top um, don't have it quite close to the bottom or have just because when this folds in it does catches the top so you just need to feed it down so you don't want anything that will stop that from going down you could also just have a DSP all the way in, but obviously bear in mind that that's going to be, that needs to be up slightly, if that makes sense. So it won't be flushed down towards the center of the card. So that is that, and we are just going to foam di a dimension. This one, and that's going to be in the middle, and a tiny, tiny bit 
we have one. Do we need one? Maybe not. Just in case for the bell. So I've omitted the sentiment because I I use the ribbon. You can add a bit more bling. So I thought, well, with the bells, I'll use the the gold, the metallic pearls, the gold one. Oh, or a silver one. We got gold. We got copper. And I add silver. We got. We do have a lot of silver. I'll add silver just to have different um, <laughs> different color metallics. Da -da -da. There and oh, what's that? Right there we go. I will just. Oh, what is that? something I'm sure it's fine here we go right don't sweat the small stuff I guess but I know it's staring at me but that is my Elfie fanciful card gift card holder slash business card holder slash I don't know just treat, I guess. And this is the other one for the Creating Kindness Design Team blog and video hub. Thanks again for joining me. So please uh, check down the description below for the current snap and up products that you can purchase from our online shop if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, and the Netherlands. You can also join our team, the Mitosu Stampers, and get future discounts on your crafty products. In there, you will also find the next video for the Creating Kindness uh, blog hub, video hub even, as well as a uh, donate link if you don't live within the e the Europe, EU, uh, and you'd, you'd love to support our channel, um, like, subscribe, and hit that bell button to be notified when we are going live or we have new videos. Okay, thank you again for joining me. Until next time, bye!